I, I tell you, it's always good to get that first win, all that preparation that you put into it. It really is satisfying and gives you momentum. But now we have to head on the road. It'll be another new challenge against a very good team of Duquesne, but playing on the road is the big challenge now. I think that Duquesne is the only team in the country that's 0-2 that averaged almost 500 yards a game in their first two losses. But they've played really up. They played uh, Youngstown State, one of the top 10 teams in FCS, and then FBS Buffalo. So we know they're much better than 0-2. Duquesne's a really tough team, and I, and I you know, I've, the past two years I've actually played them. They are, you know, they hit hard. They're probably one of the hardest hitting teams we play this year, and um, so to pre prepare myself, you know, to be able to you know expect those hits is I'm not going to expect all those carries again, honestly. Um, you know, that was a one-time thing. I feel like if I start getting hot, you know, you know, coach is going to have to spot me because we do have a whole season left. And I, you know, you know, you always pray that nothing happens, but you do got to be, you know, you do got to spot your running backs and you know be prepared, to, you know, not to have someone else take the load too. So you know, I hope and I know and I trust my other running backs that you know they're ready to do it. To beat Duquesne on the road there, what we have to do is not give up big plays. And I'm talking about on offense and defense. I mean, they have the talent to be able to beat you deep on passes, and they've got the speed and the size on defense to cause you havoc and uh, force turnovers there. So that's what we got to stay away from in this game.